Welcome to another edition of Pianist Programmer Tutorials and today we're going to learn about how to create a Laravel application in multiple languages. So what I've done here is to scaffold a new Laravel project and the current version as at the time of this video is version 6.7 and what I did was create a new fresh project Laravel project and this is what you have so I'll just run through it now I've edited just a few things your login is always there and what I added is welcome to our fan page this is where you get added a badge 60 spot updates we move that's all so let's run this code and we'll see okay it's ready and this is what we have all right so what i did was to add the artisan alt package to this project and of course i've been able to create a user and right now i'm logged in i don't want to go through all that because that's not what this video is all about this video is just about creating applications in multiple languages it says you are logged in welcome to our fan page and this is where you get 60 spots updates we move now this is what we want to translate into different languages so i picked two other languages aside english which is the default from laravel i picked chinese because i know a little bit about chinese i know how to speak chinese yeah i like the basic to intermediate level and i also pick french because it's a popular language so whatever translation i will need i'll get that from google translate of course so let's move on now the most important place we need to deal with is the controller because that's where most of our work is so first of all i want to have a situation whereby if i select a language from a drop down on the front page it will automatically change all the text to that particular language so i'll set this to the language and i'll call that variable local I call that variable local laravel has also given us something to work with and it's called app set local and we set that variable local okay uh, i need to import this class okay like so we need to tell our route that we don't want to necessarily go to just slash home we want to go to slash home slash the language so i'll configure that in my route now so i'll say slash the language which in this case is local for me okay so i want to do something like home slash en would give me english home slash fr would give me french home slash cn will give me chinese something like that so this is how we achieve that now i've gone ahead to import some of the things that we're going to use in those various languages and where laravel kept those files are in the resources so if you open the resources folder and go to languages you see that i've added cn and fr cn and fr were not there originally only english en folder was there let's take a look at what is inside you have the auth.php you have pagination you have password you have validations i've added this header.php and header.php simply houses all the variables that we'll need so login variable is you are logged in which is what you see here though this is still static welcome to our fan page is this part welcome to our fan page this is where you get 60 updates this is where you get spot updates we move all right so i've gone ahead also to add the same file header.php to the chinese version and the french version okay so i've done all that and these are the chinese translations of all the english versions we have as well as the french version of all the english words in there now let's go to the view Okay, this is our home page but I will not be doing this inside this home page directly what I'm going to do is because I need that variable on the app 
dot blade so i'm moving all this out i'm taking it back into the app dot blade instead of yielding this content i'm dropping it directly inside so that i can have access to it globally uh, i want to save us the stress of having to reconfigure our service providers to accommodate a variable which we can use globally so i'm just bringing this right inside here again i will have another drop down in this form and this time i can just call this drop down to um okay this for now can just have en i don't need the form here and okay that's about okay i don't need this on click event that's about it yeah okay this should have slash home slash home slash en view and see that we are ready or at least we have something we can work with okay so it says it can no longer see dot slash home because i've modified the route pattern so there's nothing like slash home anymore so it's slash home slash en and slash home slash en yeah you can see we have en which is like the default english french chinese okay now having said that i can in fact do this with real data and just pass the variable local directly here but i must make sure that my home controller knows about this variable so what we we'll do here now is to compact this and call local okay and with that i think we should be able to have the versions now so slash home slash en should give us this oh okay uh one more thing let's set this to capital letter so str out to upper yeah okay so we can have all in capital letters all right so this is the english version this is the french version and google translate is also trying to do something it's not working yes it's not working we are still having english all through it's not working why because we have not set those variables from this language folder so right now i'll set those variables and then we'll be good to go you are logged in is lang of header remember that our file name is header dot let's check let's check the header this is login okay login okay welcome to our fan page also has something this is what you get also has something remove also has something and spot updates also has something so the next one is welcome to our fan page is welcome the next is updates updates the next one is Sports, sports, and 
the last one I believe is action. Let's be sure. Action. Yeah. Action. All right. And with that, we should be good to go. So let's reload this. And now we see it's working. So the Chinese version displays Chinese. The French version displays French. Although you can see Google Translate is also trying to do its work. And of course, the English version displays English. So that's really about it for this video. If you have any question, please drop them in the comment section below. And I'll be glad to respond to any queries that you probably might have. As always, we keep learning. So if there's something you also want to share with us, please drop them in the comment section below. All right, till next time when we have another tutorial, peace.